Nicola Sturgeon is facing a new crisis after Alex Salmon urged an independent investigator examining claims around her conduct on complaints against him to be widened. Former First Minister Mr. Salmond had been the subject of an inquiry by civil servants allegations of sexual misconduct were made against him, but a judicial review deemed that probe to be unlawful. He was cleared of 13 charges of sexual assault, including attempted rape, at the High Court in Edinburgh in March. Nicola Sturgeon then referred herself to his standards panel after it was claimed the SNP leader had broken the strict code by not immediately declaring meetings she had held with her predecessor to discuss the misconduct claims. James Hamilton, a former director of public prosecutions in Ireland, is currently looking at whether Ms. Sturgeon breached standards of conduct. Earlier this year, a remit set out by Deputy First Minister John Swinney said Ms. Sturgeon's role, if any, in the investigation into Mr. Salmond would be fully scrutinized, but in a letter earlier this month to Mr. Hamilton, the advisor leading the inquiry into the First Minister, Mr. Salmond has called for that remit to be widened. He has asked if equal status will be given to investigating if Ms. Sturgeon misled the Scottish Parliament. The former First Minister has also asked if she failed to act on legal advice, and if civil servants did not give truthful information to Parliament. Mr. Salmond said the current remit could be a straw man to knock down. He wrote in his letter to Mr. Hamilton, What I wish to know is whether matters which, by contrast, are specified in the ministerial code such as the primary responsibility of not misleading parliament, contrary to 1.3 c of the code, such as the failure to act on legal advice suggesting the government was at risk of behaving unlawfully, contrary to 2.30 of the code, and such as the ministerial failure to ensure civil servants gave truthful information to Parliament, contrary to 1.3, e of the code, will have at least equal status in your deliberations or are you confined to the political remit which you have been set, a Scottish government spokesman said, we are aware of the letter, the remit of Mr Hamilton's work is well established and was set out to the Parliament by the Deputy First Minister, Alex Cole Hamilton. The Liberal Democrat MSP who is also a member of the Holyrood Committee looking into the handling of complaints against Mr. Salmond, had also called for Mr. Hamilton's inquiry to investigate if Ms. Sturgeon misled Parliament. The new push has been triggered by a meeting Ms. Sturgeon had with Mr. Salmond's former Chief of Staff Jeff Aberdeen on 29 March, 2018, where she was informed of allegations against Scotland's former First Minister. Ms. Sturgeon has been accused of misleading the Scottish Parliament by failing to disclose the details of her meeting with Mr. Aberdeen. The ministerial code states, Ministers who knowingly mislead the Parliament will be expected to offer their resignation to the First Minister. SNP leader Ms. Sturgeon has told Parliament she did not know of the allegations until four days later when she was told by Mr. Salmond, himself during a meeting at her home. She said she had forgotten the contents of her meeting with Mr. Aberdeen, adding it was her later meeting with Mr. Salmond which was seared on her memory. Mr. Cole Hamilton has said Ms. Sturgeon should resign if the First Minister is found to have misled Parliament.